and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. So we're going to start out with the first energy that's coming out, which is a major arcana, the hanged man, which is good. This is an energy of someone looking at things from a different perspective. Um, you know, they're hung upside down in their disbelief and, you know, that illumination is whatever it's different. They're illuminated. They're illuminated now. They know something that they did not know before only because they are suspended in their disbelief. They're looking at things from a different perspective. Now, the next two cards I'm going to read together um, because it's, it's very important. Actually, the next three. So we've got the Queen of Swords in the upright, Two of Pentacles and five of wands now i want to read these together because i've already got a vibe of the energy that's going on right now and if you know if you kind of follow my reads you know that if i if a card comes out in the upright and it's supposed to be a positive energy and i get some negative energy i'm not going to read it pos positively i'm going to read it like the energy says so that being said this queen of swords in the upright would be someone who's honest, upright, trustworthy, dependable. They use word to communicate, uh, the user swore to communicate truth, the sort of truth, right? But it's coming out right next to the two of pentacles in the upright, which is juggling something, not being able to decide between one thing and another, indecision. But that indecision is right next to the five of wands, which is not a good energy. This is an energy of conflict, conflict with a group, more than one person. Who would be juggling that? Certainly not this upright, positive Queen of Swords person. You see what I'm saying? So even though this energy is coming out positive, it's like this person wants you or other people to believe that they're upright, honest, and positive, but they're not because this is their energy. They're juggling, creating conflict with other people. As so it goes, I'm gonna read the Queen of Swords energy the way their energy is coming through. Queen of Swords in the inverse is a liar, manipulative. Um, they definitely do not communicate truth. You know, they, they do lie and manipulate. They're insensitive, you know. They're definitely someone whose words can be cutting, you know. This is the true Queen of Swords in the inverse energy. You know, if it was positive and upright and trustworthy, they would not be juggling conflict and creating conflict with other people, right? But I'm going back to that hanging man. Somebody is having to look at things from a different perspective because of who they really were, right? This is directly under the two of cups in the inverse. I'm already starting to feel like this is somebody vengeful, uh, vindictive ex. This is who I'm feeling. If you know that this is your, your person, this is your reading. It may not resonate with everybody, but this gives me all the hallmarks of a vengeful, vindictive ex. This two of cups in the inverse was your partnership being separated. They separated it because they were a part of creating conflict with m more people besides them. They were a part of your separation. They also have to look at that from a different perspective. But what comes out right after that is another major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune in the Upright. Whose ever ex is this? Had to be vindictive, had to be vengeful, because while they wanted to present to everybody else that they were upright and honest, their energy was creating conflict. They were juggling creating conflict. They wanted people to think they were upright and honest, but they were juggling that whole idea with being a whole devil in the background. This is what they thought would get them the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Success, fortune, good luck. Are you kidding me? Whose vindictive ex is this? Tell me in the comment section. This is sick. And it's probably because you left him. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. If anyone's ex out there felt justified, justified in creating conflict with you, with other people just because you left them? Heck no. Heck no. And that person thought that it would give them good luck and success. It's like 
creating conflict with, with you or for you would give them good luck and fortune. This is sick, y'all. Who's vengeful, vindictive ex is this? Put it in the comment section. They caused your separation because they were so vindictive and vengeful. People go through breakups all the time, you know? And, you know, I'm, I'm very tempted to say there's a lot of women, and I hate to be biased here, but a lot of women get rejected by men daily, repeatedly. But as soon as that man gets rejected, all bets are off. I got to cause you a problem because you rejected me. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do you in. And I really don't mean to uh, have that sound biased. Uh, yes, women do it too. Yes, there are vindictive women too. But I'm I'm really calling in the vindictive nature of this. This energy was intentional. It was intentional. The entire time, this person was acting like they were right and justified in doing this. They put on a mask to do you in, to get good luck and fortune. This was on purpose. This is more than just a jilted lover. This is somebody who took pleasure in taking revenge and creating conflict with you and including other people. They caused your separation, you know? And you, you would know if this is your story. You would know because you know that in this particular scenario that I'm talking about, you would have been the one to walk away, which caused this person to be so angry that they it caused you conflict. And there was no juggling. There's no juggling. You don't have to choose between walking away gracefully from a breakup. And again, I'm, I'm I, you know, maybe, you know, this might sound biased, but a lot of women get turned down. A lot of people just in general get turned down. Let me just be quite fair. They have to move on with their lives. But this person, excuse me, this person could not. They could not accept a turn down, a rejection, a breakup. They felt justified, queen of swords in the upright. They felt justified in creating you conflict. And they thought that they would get good luck in doing it. It was like, well, you hurt me, now I have to hurt you. That is a very damaged, broken person. But I guarantee you this is the same exact person that would have cut you off in a heartbeat. Probably did, probably didn't even really reciprocate emotions or a give and take in a situation in the relationship, same person. They can't handle rejection. Next energy that's coming out. Eight of, eight of wands in the inverse. This We also had this energy come out in our last reading and it gave me a headache because this person feels stuck and having delays. They also feel like they can't talk, talk to you. I felt a pulling in my solar plexus, you know, because they probably cut, they're feeling that stuck. Well, duh, because they were cut you know, juggling, dealing with you and causing you problems and havoc at the same time. Who is this? Tell me in the comment section. I don't like this guy or girl, whoever this is. Next energy is coming out is 10, 10 of swords and the inverse. This represents coming out of some type of backstab or betrayal. And this is a card that I read both ways because you can't come out of um, a painful ending, a backstab or betrayal if you've never been in a painful ending, backstab or betrayal, right? So here's what I'm getting, y'all. A couple of things in my downloads that I got. What was in the energy in our previous readings? And, you know, I definitely want you guys to go back to just kind of see how the energy keeps flowing. What you, what they wanted for you is happening to them. This is what I'm feeling here. You notice how I'm being, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize. The Ten of Swords in the inverse is falling out under the Five of Wands. Somebody got stabbed in the back by the same people that they used to stab you in the back. Y'all, this is a karmic backfire. This is exactly a karmic backfire. Your person who felt so happy doing you in after y'all broke up, two of cups in the inverse, they thought they were gonna get good luck, success, and fortune by causing you conflict on purpose. This person now feels stuck because it happened to them. I told, man, Man, that that saying, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, is here. It's here. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. It's here. 
That's why they feel stuck. It doesn't matter what the situation was, why you had to leave. This person should have moved on gracefully. They should have had enough fortitude, dignity, integrity to move on with grace. But no, instead, they wanted to cause you conflict. But you know what? Here's what they wanted. The Wheel of Fortune was not in the upright. It's actually in the inverse, to be quite honest with you, because they got backstabbed and betrayed. In the, it, they got backstabbed by the same people that they were using to backstab you with. Karma happened to your person. You cannot be out here trying to do ill intent to people. And I'm quite sure you did nothing. That's the reason why they're in the hangman. You walked away peacefully and gracefully, probably apologetic even. But no, this person could not even accept your peace, grace, and love as you left with your head held up high. He wanted to shut you down. This is what this person now has to look at from a different perspective. He knows he was not right. And I'm saying he, even though this queen of swords is a she, it's a feminine energy, but take the energy as it resonates, flip it as it applies as far as pronouns in your situation. This person was very damaged, broken, could not accept the separation. So they felt like they had to cause you conflict. But don't worry about it because they got karma. Karma happened. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Now they're in the nine of wands and the inverse. This energy keeps coming out. Karma happened, y'all. You didn't have to do anything. The universe had your back. Nine of Wands in the inverse. It's a card of having to drop your defenses, feeling weak, feeling powerless. <coughs> Coming out right next to that, more comic blowback. Four of Wands in the inverse. They did not get a celebration. They did not get some type of an event, marriage, something. If they were dealing with the karmic, this may have been the karmic's energy as well. Because in our last few readings, we have seen that karma has happened, towers have happened, endings have happened. So your person and the karmic, they both got it. Why? Because they both had ill intentions for you. This may apply to not just your person, but the karmic and anybody else that was in league with them to do you harm. All because you walked away from this vindictive person. You had every right to walk away. Every right to walk away. And they couldn't take it. But the same people that they use to cause you conflict are the same people that stab them in the back. You live by the sword, you die by it. Their karma, they gotta drop their defenses. They know what they did. That's why they have to look at things from a different perspective. You did nothing, collective. You did nothing but it moved towards your highest self and choose what was best for you. They chose destruction. Now look at them. Nine of swords in the, uh, sorry, nine of wands in the inverse. They have to drop their defenses. They feel weak. Four of wands in the inverse. They didn't get a celebration. They didn't get the wheel of fortune that they were looking for. No success, no fortune. They probably didn't get married to the karmic. Ten of pentacles in the inverse. This keeps coming out. This is financial ruin. Karmic blowback. Backfires. Was that saying karma's a bee? Car <laughs> this, this person's feeling it now. This person is feeling it. Confirmation with the Five of Cups. Five of Cups in the inverse is a card that I read both ways, just like the Ten of Swords. This person is trying to come out of their, their disappointment. They're trying to have faith in the future. Why? Because of this backfire. You know? This is karmic blowback. Karmic backfire. This is your Wheel of Fortune in the inverse. The Death card, Tower, all in one. This person wanted you messed up. Now look at him. Now look at him. Collective, if this is your story, do not waste time trying to get them back or trying to have the last word. The last word has been had by the universe for you. It has happened. What they wanted for you is happening to them. You don't need to do anything but hold your head up high. Hold your head high, collective. I need some more clarifiers to understand this ending because this 
conflict that they caused you came right back to them. The chickens came home to roost, right? But they're trying to get over it. Two cards confirming they're trying to get over the backfire that happened to them. Rest assured, with two cards confirming, trying to get over disappointment, trying to get over a backstabbing betrayal, it's directly related to the conflict that they caused for you. This is karma. The universe had your back collective. So I asked for more uh, confirmation. Nine of Cups in the upright. This is a card of wish fulfillment. <coughs> Excuse me. Happiness. Fulfillment. Contentment. I do feel that because the universe has set this person all the way down, because of how they did you, they do want to, five of uh, cups in the inverse, they do want to have faith in the future. They do want to, you know, be hopeful and to get that wish fulfillment for, for you. So it went from the five of cups in the inverse to the nine of cups. I do feel that. And I have been feeling that energy here with the past few reads. Whatever's happened to your person, whatever happened between them and the karmic, they got their comeuppance or, and or are getting their comeuppance. Karma is happening for people right now, guys. I mean, people have got to understand that you cannot be out here intentionally doing harm, wishing harm to people. It will come back to you. It will. And it has and it is. Which is why this person has to be in the hangman position to see things from a different perspective. Another clarifier. Hierophant in the inverse. When I pulled this card, <coughs> I immediately got some downloads. This is going to be very specific for someone. This may not apply to everyone, so please don't make it fit if um, you don't know this happening, especially for this card, especially. The downloads that I got is whoever your ex was, and again, this is for a specific person out there who knows that this happened. This person wears a mask to everybody. They, on the outside, they may be upstanding, they're dignified, maybe they have an outstanding nine to five job, they may be somebody who has a job that presents themselves in an upright manner, like a cop, a judge, a lawyer, a doctor. But on the inside, when they take off all that, that mask and their, their, their clothes from the office, this is who they are. They cause conflict for people. You wouldn't know if this is the person that you were dealing with, your ex. Your ex, who, who is like that, worked with a group of people in the Hierophant in the Inverse Energy. The Hierophant in the Inverse Energy is a very corrupt energy. It lacks morals. It lacks moral, moral compass. It has no positive direction, no positive insight. Whoever your person was that was vindictive enough to do this to you, did it with a group of people who were as corrupt and immoral as them. They get up to stuff like this for fun. And again, this part is very specific. Um, I got, um, for whatever reason, drug ring, theft ring, scam artist, and mob. Do not take that part if it does not resonate for you. However, somebody's ex was already into some illegal stuff is my point. That was my download. So... For them to do something like that was not out of character for them. You see what I'm saying? You would have to know if this part applies to you. But the Hierophant in the inverse energy is corruption, lacking moral compass, lacking positive, any type of direction. But it's a group of people who do this. The, the person's ex that I'm talking about, especially for this part right here, was already involved in something illegal. And those very same people that they ran with, they used those people to do whatever they did to you to cause your situation to break up. But those same people that they do illegal things with are the same people that backstab them. Like I said, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Hierophant in the inverse energy. Last clarifier. This person needs to move on or will be moving on to calm water, six swords. It's like people don't realize that running with dastardly people, people that lack moral compass, people don't have in, uh, dignity, 
or, you know, morality, they don't think it's a bad thing until something bad happens to them. They think it's all fun and games. They think it's a racket, literally a racket. And, and I'm telling you with that higher fun and the inverse energy, these people can get up to anything. What I got in my download was, like I said, theft ring, drug ring, scam artists, mob. Somebody got up to something illegal anyway. And again, do not make this fit if you don't know it. You would have had to know that your person was into something like that. But if this is you, you need to know the same people that they ran with to do illegal things with or the same people that they used to do you in, but those exact same people came home to roost. Those are the ones that backstab your person. Karma. Final outcome of my clarifiers, the Six of Swords. Your person, after being backstabbed and after trying to get over the portrayal of those same people doing what they did to you, to them, now they want to move on to Karma Waters. Now you want to move on. Really? Really? This energy is unfortunate is the word that I'm going to use. Unfortunate. This is not a healthy person at all, period. This person, and even though it's the Queen of Swords, the energy of masculine and feminine does switch. And I know I said he and she a lot. Take the energy as it resonates. But whoever you broke up with was happy causing you conflict because you broke up with them. Two of Cups in the inverse. They thought that they would get success and fortune by causing you conflict. It was like a get back, a clap back. It was like, all right, you hurt me. I got to hurt you now. And I'm going to get my little, my little skinny, little scuzzy little friends to help me. They were all low lives, including your person. I don't care what mask and what what suit or what dress they put on during the day. Like I said, this coming out in the upright is indicative of wearing a mask. It's a two-faced mask. This person could have a job to where they look upstanding, but they are not. Doctor, lawyer, judge, policeman, congressman. It doesn't matter. But what they really got up to with their buddies, Hierophant in the inverse energy. Whoever this person is, you would need to, you know that they wear a mask. They are not upstanding. They are corrupt as all get out. But you know this already. But you need to know that those same correct corrupt buddies that they get up to mischief with were the same ones that caused you conflict, but they got they got karma back for you. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. I do not take pleasure in karma happening, but I do take pleasure in seeing when the universe balances itself out, especially when people do just uncomprehensible things for no reason, for no reason. I do, you're not even on the board collective, but this is why this person's having to see you in a different light. They know they were wrong. That's how I know that you didn't do anything, even though you're not on the board in this spread. I do take pleasure in seeing that karmics don't always win. I do take pleasure in seeing that people who do mean and nasty things on purpose with no justification, things get balanced out, let's just say. Things get made right. Yes, I do take pleasure in that. Let's get some advice from our dreams of Gaia Terror so we can wrap up our reading. Looks like the Seven of Air. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Excuse me. Keywords, spirituality, religion, politics, personal dogma, <coughs> excuse me, atheism, fundamentalism, indoctrination, kindness. It's not what we believe, but how we believe. Lift each other up. Beliefs that make us kinder people. Losing friends and family because of our beliefs. There are many ways, not just your way. Educate, don't indoctrinate. Seek a kind approach, moderate, and fundamentalist beliefs. Exactly. Whoever this group is that they got up to this nasty, um, illegal stuff, this is some advice for them and your person too because they were a part of it. They were in lead. Let's get um, some wisdom from our animal totem and we'll wrap up our reading. 
Card 20, the Warthog. Okay, let's see what the Warthog's got to tell us for some advice. Stop being so concerned about what is on the outside. Your title in life, what you represent, wear, drive, and what other people think are all inferior to the true you. True you. Warthog is a reminder that what is truly important in life is what resonates on the inside. Your happiness, your spirit, your truths, your sin sacred sense of self, and your connection to the divine creator. When you glow from within, you exude a tremendous light that shines through. Your greatest strength will always come from within. Warthog is reminding you that your dignity is your birthright. Honor the essence of your inner light and nourish your spirit today. I couldn't have said it any better. This person, your ex, whoever's vengeful, vindictive person this is, they need to take the advice of the Warthog because they didn't have a moral compass anyway to do this to you. They need to stop wearing the mask. Whoever they portray themselves to be on the outside that is that fake, two-faced, upstanding, positive energy, they're really not. This person needs to flip the mask, if anything. If they were truly upright, honest, and positive with whatever they do on their nine to five, like I said, doctor, lawyer, judge, politician, it doesn't matter. They do something to make people think they are positive and they're for people. Meanwhile, they're doing stuff like this. This person needs to find their dignity. They need to find it because they lost it. Whew, I'm so sorry if you dealt with somebody like that, but uh, you don't need to worry about it because like I said, the same thing that they did to you with them same people, they did it to them. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. All right, guys, it's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like the content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.